Hey YouTube, New York half-ass prepper here. I just got uh, gifted a bunch of old uh, stuff here that uh, was in a fire. Um, as you know, I work at uh, Bannerman Castle as my uh, my side job, and uh, somebody, a member of the public, uh, returned these. Um, they came from uh, Bannerman, and they were uh, in the fire that they had out there in 1969. So, been going through them. As it looks like an old, uh, I don't know what any of them are. I was just a little, just like we just dropped off like five minutes ago, and uh, the only thing I I know is that this is a semi-automatic 22 long rifle of modern design. None of these are operable. They're all. Uh, rusted shut and the barrels are bent on them and stuff so there's no uh, nothing can be operated but this appears to be an Ithaca deer slayer as well as this one here and this guy under here is some kind of a double barrel coach gun it's two barrels and they're all bent and they're not uh, parallel to each other anymore because everything got heated up and warped um, this appears to be some kind of muzzle loading shotgun but it has barrel bands so it had some wood furniture on it if you look up here you can see the little nipple for the uh the cap and it's missing the stock and it's missing the receiver and everything so if you can identify anything from this video let me know uh the only thing this is like a uh 16 gauge and this one looks like a 20 gauge uh, deer slayer feather light from Ithaca this one's still got the stock in it this old double barrel has a piece of stock left on it you can see it was engraved and has a big cheek rest on it well actually this is off of a um, looks like some kind of muzzle loading shotgun or rifle that uh, double triggers set up over there and it has an octagon barrel and I'll cover this one. This one has an octagon barrel, some kind of a guard over here. It goes down. And that was a, you can see the nipple for the, uh, the cap there. So some old stuff and we're gonna, I'm probably just gonna soak it down with oil to stop further rusting. And it's gonna go in the museum out there but I just want to catalog if I can identify what the stuff is so we can make a little uh, a little card for each gun. So, an interesting little project today. All right, that's it. I'm out.